Hi, I'm Johnny Kaplan with SecureThoughts.com. With online privacy being such a huge priority these days, we're going to take you through some of the most common tools that you can use to ensure to browse online anonymously. Online anonymity is becoming more and more popular in this day and age because we all want to retain our privacy online. There are two main ways to browse the internet anonymously, through a VPN or through Tor. But what are the differences and which one's for you? Well, Tor allows you to anonymously browse the internet totally free, enabling users to connect through a network of relays rather than through one direct connection. It will bounce your connection from server to server at random with over 4 billion distinct circuits to choose from and to make it totally untraceable, which is perfect for masking your IP address. The software is the closest to complete anonymity that you can get, but it does come with a few drawbacks. Firstly, downloading and using Tor will greatly slow down your browsing experience due to the many bounces between servers. Secondly, your ISP will know that you're using Tor. Due to Tor being widely used for governments, journalists, politicians, and of course criminals, Tor is a bit like putting a red flag over your head and could lead to potentially being classed as a criminal type or having your online activity further monitored. The very thing you're probably trying to escape. Alternatively, a virtual private network, also known as a VPN, creates an encrypted virtual tunnel, enabling you to create a secure connection to a server in another location enabling you to appear as though you're located in another place. At most, there are a few hundred distinct routes to choose from. Nothing compared to Tor's 4 billion. And a good VPN comes at a price. As long as the service uses the open VPN protocol, the encryption will be strong enough to secure your traffic. One of the main benefits of using a VPN over Tor is that it's very easy to access location-restricted content with a VPN. Whereas with Tor, you can only access desired sites if the exit node is in the desired country. This is easy from the USA, but may be more difficult from smaller, less connected countries. They are also much faster than using Tor and only slightly slower than using plain ISP uplinks. The downside with using a VPN is that the VPN provider can see the traffic it's handling. All VPNs differ, so it's important to find one that doesn't store logs or data. For example, if a government agency were to demand a VPN provider to hand over its logs, it would expose the user's activities. Overall, VPNs are great for those who want speed, simplicity, and privacy. However, depending on the VPN, they will provide you with limited anonymity. There is simply no better alternative when it comes to anonymity than Tor. Though it's much slower than a VPN, and you'll need to know how to use it properly for it to be effective. In other words, you can't have everything. Keep in mind you could always use Tor and a VPN together for an added security layer, but this would drastically slow down your browsing experience. At the end of the day, the one that you choose should depend on your specific needs. For more information, visit securethoughts.com.